yay! Oh, yay! Congratulations to Houston Athletic for their promotion next year into the tool station. On the 23rd of April, the FA Council brought forward and approved the plans for the restructuring of the non-league pyramid system. Helston, along with Cornish rivals Saltash United, Millbrook and Mausel, were among the beneficiaries and were elevated from the South West Peninsula League to the Tool Station Western Premier League at the stroke of the proverbial pen. The new season brought immediately enlarged horizons, with away trips beyond the Tamar into Devon, Dorset, Somerset and South Gloucestershire every other weekend. First up for the new season on the 31st of July was Bridport away, and Helston Athletic travelled in style in the coach once owned by Luton Town FC. Yes, good afternoon to uh, Peer and Films and uh, we're at Bridport Football Club this afternoon. History being made as Helston Athletic uh, make their debut in the uh, Step 5 Western League Premier Division match here. Uh, we're expecting great things from them. We've travelled up in the coach this morning. Uh, no real hold-ups and so we're hoping that the game's going to go without any uh, hitches either. No one knew that Bridport would become the league's whipping boys. Helston came out top 7-1. A hat-trick for Biddeford-bound Matty Buchan, a nutmeg at Lewis Tonkin's expense, and a worldie from the Bridport midfielder and relative of the 1960s pop solo guitarist Bert Whedon. In the second game against Saltash, Helston had to settle for a home draw. Catcher in here now, he spots Hans making a run. Can Barker get there? No, it's a lovely ball. Hans just lets it go. Cornish picks up the scraps. Here's Turner. And it's a goal. Ryan Turner opens the scoring. That's Soltash United gaggle of bodies there. Ball comes in. Bit long. Oh, it's in. Oh, it's a fantastic header. Fantastic header. Woods' is free kick. Evades everyone. I think the defence thought it was going out. But there's O'Brien to head in. Back across goal and pass Radovanovic for 1-1. Uh, Piran Films, currently committed to filming away games in addition to those at Kellaway Park, soon began to improvise and adopted a more YouTube-friendly production style. One such innovation is filming from the dugout with the Helston manager or a substitute mic'd up. Let's cross the box. Yes! Go! Come on! Come on! Box! Brilliant box! Oh, he's, 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 I tell you what, he had, he had king legs like Douglas Bader then, didn't he? Two wood with king legs. It's all right, do that. <laughs> Go on then, Trippy. Then. Oh, my mum my could do. Honestly, my mum could have run quicker in there. <laughs> I'm not having messes with the old shirt and trackies combo. I'll about you. I don't know you. if it's going, is it? You either go the whole way, full suit, or you have a, like a tracky day. The Piran Films commentary team was then broadened with the arrival of two new faces, Tom Howe and Gareth Davis, now former sports journalists with The Voice newspapers. Ball into the box. Header not quite cleared. Feel. Oh, and it's in! And Helston, against the odds, have retaken the lead. Totally against the run of play there, Tom, but you could tell it would only needed one chance and one ball to fall nicely for, for Helston in the box. And Ryan Turner has scored the third Helston goal in the final five minutes and has he snatched the victory here for the home side? 
On to the sport now, and Dave's looking at a big Rugby Sevens tournament featuring creme de la creme of Europe, Dave. Absolutely, it's all happening in Exeter this weekend. Hello, everybody. For the second year running, Sandy Park in Exeter hosts Europe... In mid-October, ex-BBC Spotlight sports presenter Dave Gibbons joined the Piran Films ranks again. His first commentary match was away to then-league leaders Bitten, or so we thought. We should be guests, but unfortunately, on the day of the match, Bitten informed the chairman, Paul Hendy, that we were not allowed to film this Western League fixture, which uh, leaves me a little bit dumbfounded. I've never experienced anything like that in my 40 years and more of broadcasting. And at 2-2, we now head to what probably will be a dramatic penalty shootout to decide the winners of this. A week later, down the road at Old Land Abertonians, Dave picked up the microphone and commentated on Helston's early exit on penalties from the FA Vars. And it's going to be Tyler Elliott to equalise, hopefully, with his right foot. Oh no, he's missed. Well, Tyler Elliott tried to go for the top corner to the left of Liam Jakes, but he missed 4-3. See this to win it, and it's Owen McCallum, left-footed, scores! And we have witnessed an FA Vars upset because Oldland Abertonians have beaten Helston Athletic on penalties by five goals to three. Dave has a reputation for his meticulous pre-match preparation and he comes out with some amazing anecdotes as at Shepton Mallet recently. And to add to their woes the club secretary Sally Robertson well she was the uh, she acquired a new car brand new vehicle she drove gave it its maiden run out all the way to Mausel tested it out too much too enthusiastically because she picked up a speeding ticket and guess what on the way back, she thought, this is good fun. I've got to get some enjoyment from the day, despite my team losing, the club secretary, and she picked up another speeding ticket. My goodness. <sighs> Six points she picked up for her pains, and Shepton didn't pick up any points. Another great film crew addition to Piran Films for the home matches this season is Helston College sixth former Travis, whose camera skills improve with every game. His footage of the two penalty shouts against Street back in November was very popular on Twitter. Soccer goes down and it's a penalty kick for Helston Athletic. Josh Phillips bringing down Billy Tucker. It looked like that there was minimal contact on. Tucker went down, but the referee was in no doubt. He pointed to the penalty spot straight away. Billy Tucker now with space to run into. He's got Balka for company, Veal at the far post. Here's Tucker, just a loose... Oh, it's another penalty kick for Helston Athletic. Tucker brought down for a second time. Well, if the first penalty award looks soft, Tom, then that one looked really, really soft as well. Tucker just seemed to run into the back of the, of the street defender, number five, Jacob Stafford, and he went down to ground. But once again, like the first award, the referee pointed to the spot, didn't even go and consult his linesman, who maybe had a... A better view, and it's down to Stuart Balker again. Balker steps up. Hammers it into the back of the net. Helston lead 2-1. On some occasions, in the absence of a commentator, Hearn Films has resorted to cutting the video highlights to non-copyright music. One such game was away to the favourites, Tavistock, back in early September. It's been said on more than one occasion that some of the selected tracks might have come from 90s soft porn movies. How was Piran Films, totally unfamiliar with such a film genre, supposed to know that?
Win, lose or draw, the charismatic Helston manager Steve Massey will always make himself available for a YouTube live post-match interview. This often acts as a trailer for the following day's match highlights that are, more often than not, uploaded on the Piran Films YouTube channel just in time for you to watch them with your Sunday morning breakfast. 11 players I came with, with, with here today and the bench, the bench has shown me great enthusiasm and, and passion for the football club, absolutely superb. Um, and we come, we've come to top of the league, top of the league, they might have had maybe the three wins that they've had, maybe some bottom half of the table team, but nevertheless they were top of the league and um, we've come here and won, and won 3 2. And I can't be any, any prouder than that. And um, we might even get a drink from Mr. Huffle tonight, on the way back. As of Monday, the 27th of December 2021, Helston Athletic are in the fifth position in the Tool Station Western Premier League within two points of Bitten in second place. Helston didn't play their Boxing Day fixture against local rivals Mausel owing to a serious outbreak of COVID-19 in the visitors' camp. Wharton's long goal kick over a story. Knocked on by Gross, flicked on by Ball into the path of Griffiths and he doesn't make any mistake whatsoever from that distance. Helston Athletic have a number of games in hand over their competitors and have lost only two league games. However, they've drawn on seven occasions and given away commanding leads. One such game was at home to Keensham Town in mid-September when Helston were 4-1 up at half-time and then 5-2 to the good, still with 30 minutes to play. Helston comes inside of Beatty and he finds that far corner. Well, you have to say, poor defending by Helston there. Made it uh, a chance for Sam Jones. He hammered it into the roof of the net. But they stay in there as this ball comes in from Saunders. Radovanovic is out. But, well, it almost looked as if his clearance out came off. A.D. Harvey loops over everyone and into the empty net of Helston. It's now Helston 5, Canesham 5. All 10 goals were scored by 10 different players. Is that a first, I wonder? Here they come again. This is Orlando. Here's the shot coming in. All cleared off the line and it's rebounded. Helston Athletic have scored 45 league goals this season and conceded 27. Gets a the defence will need to be strengthened if the club is going to advance into the Southern League next season. That second half for me, I don't know what we thought was in there or what, what went about from the half-time there, because we weren't at it that first half. And, you, and, and, and we all know that, that that wasn't good enough. And today, today for me, was going to be a real, real yardstick of where, of where or what we can Steve do. Steve Massey's Helston squad is made up of a blend of youth and experienced players. Josh Storey is a former England schoolboy international. And players such as Harrison Jewell, Tom Hands and Jackson Penhallerick all played in the FA Youth Cup first round game away to Forest Green under 18s back in 2019. Tucker now on the ball coming inside. One established Helston Athletic player, Billy Tucker, will not be featuring again for the Blues this season, preferring instead to play out the rest of the season for his former and home club, Barnstable Town. Match fitness has been an issue at times, but this little magician with his motorbike starter kick will be sorely missed. Rolling of the ball into the back of the net, Helston 1, Canesham 0. At Wellington last month, his equalising goal and sublime assist delivered three points for Steve Massey's team, keeping promotion dreams alive. Yeah! Oh! As Billy took that, I tell you what, I was had him off in there as well, but a little bit more for me, a bit for you. Billy Tucker, that, that's what you get from him, isn't it? So, uh, fair play, Billy. It's Tom. <laughs> no, I love that, Trippy. Oh, I love that. Bags, please. Come on. Yeah! Yeah! Trippy, you beauty, son. Superb, son. Superb. 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 A review of the year would be incomplete without featuring Helston Athletic's charismatic talisman come poster boy, the non-league football journeyman centre forward and top goal scorer Stuart Bowker, who joined in the close season. Attention here. It's going to be a, oh, it's a, it's a red. Bowker's off. 
Eyebrows were raised by many Cornish football followers when Steve Massey brought Bowks to the club. In a conversation off camera with Mark Huckle at the Exeter University pre season training camp, Stu boasted that he would score 30 goals this season. The Piran Films proprietor saw this as an act of bravado and took it with a large dose of salt. Hux, of course, hopes he'll be proven very wrong. Will Helston Athletic gain back to back promotion this season? Will they win the coveted Cornish Senior Cup? Only time will tell, and we at Piran Films will bring it all to you. Five or six minutes away from here. Let's finish with Stu Bowker's goals, and do be sure to watch right to the very end, where we'll close with that Bowker's goal against Ashton and Backwell that went viral on Twitter at the end of October. Wow, that's the way to finish! Oh no, the keeper! Dreadful mistake, but uh, Boker surely will make the most of it. Fucking running at the big wooden fence, slots it into the gap. Oh, Boker powers that ball into the net. Here we go. And it's in, sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. Oh, Billy took his fire, on yeah. Two running in now, led by Josh Story. Ball comes in. Two hands, strong two hands on it, but doesn't clear. And it's in. Helston Athletic 1 0. Bowker on the pitch. Steps up to take the penalty. Slots it into the corner. Gone at the end of this Western League fixture. Bowker. Good cutting. Shoots from distance. Oh, what a goal! What a goal by the Stuart Bowker. My goodness. If ever you want a man to grab the game by the scruff of the neck, it's him, isn't it? Goodness me. Moments ago, he was introduced onto the pitch. Within a couple of minutes of uh, his arrival, Ashton and Backwell, who had the bit between their teeth, get back on level terms with 2 2. Bowker's having none of it. None of it. The Western League. Player of the month shoots from must be all to 25 yards straight into the top corner of the net. Helston go back in front. Fantastic finish. From Piran Films, we wish you a very happy new year. And do keep up with us for more non-league football video highlights in 2022.